Right. Hello there, and welcome to uh, Forgotten Temples of Cambodia. And you find us in some lovely countryside. And we're here today to see Katasvara Temple. And as you can hear the birds chirping, there's a gentle tractor sort of sound. And there's the bike there just disappearing to the left of the screen. There's someone's house. They weren't looking very happy, to tell you the truth. Not at me, they just generally didn't look very happy. And there's another one there, and he's been tilling the fields, as you can see. And as we quickly zoom around, we see the mound and Kutusvada lays over there. So let's go and have a look at it. Right. And as we get closer, we can see this is, uh, well, it's just some lovely countryside, isn't it? It really is. There's not an awful lot to tell about this one. We are in the actual main park, um, but it certainly qualifies um, as uh, kind of forgotten because obviously not a lot of people would come here. Um, so let's have a dig around. You and I together, let's walk hand in hand, my lovelies. Oh, isn't it lovely? Look, the leaves on the ground. We don't get autumn here, but we do get a kind of fall, which is rather nice. Oh, look. Here we go, here's a... Oh, the sound of dry leaves underfoot. How English is that as a memory for me? That's rather a nice lintel, isn't it? We can see the man, that'll be Buddha or something, sitting here. Can you see? I'll have to point him out for you. That's his head there. You see his arm there, his arm there. And here he sits. And to the left we have where I'm pointing there are two hands together, arm, arm, face. So these, there's all the people praying as you go either side. Um, so that's rather nice, isn't it? Oh, it's a lovely drop of countryside. It really is. What a beautiful place. Not a lot of temple, but a lovely walk. Oh, here's a doorway. Oh, look at this. Those modern steps, they look rather good, don't they? No, they're not. They're not modern steps. Or are they? No, I don't think they are. Oh, well, here he is. As a leaf gently falls down his frame there. And there's not a lot to say about Mr. Kasfara, is there, really? Which I'm probably mispronouncing. But the name's at the front, so if that assists you in any way... But let's have a look in. We'll take our own sweet, gentle time with him. For time has not been gentle with him, that's for sure. There you go. Not an awful lot to see or say. The carvings from inside here are gone. Or, in fact, whenever they're... But we're doing him due just... Oh, golly, God, blinking hell. One day I will fall over. When that day comes, I don't know, but it will happen. Right, continue as though nothing happened. Um, and here we see the third one. Also, not an awful lot to show, is there? But I think he has his own thing because it's such a lovely setting. So let's take a bit more of the setting because there's only a few minutes on this one. And there is a fantastic rice field here. <laughs> there's always, these things always have, the, they always bring me a smile. They really do. Isn't that delightful? Have a look, see if I can frame this for you. Well, I think that's kind of nice in the frame. Look at that. Can you imagine just sitting there, having your packed lunch and just listen? a few noises in the background i can hear a bird chirping over my shoulder now isn't this the place to just stop and uh enjoy it all just let it soak in so a very short one because not a lot to say about mr kasvara but he certainly hits our category therefore he goes into the library and uh again it's uh, mr b saying another forgotten temple of cambodia uh any questions queries or comments stick them in the comment section i'll assist you any way i can i hope the day is most grand for you as well